Hi, I am Lupa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel, Electronic Science Tutorial. From today, I will start a new lecture series on NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam for Electronic Science subject. Those who are not check out my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel. So let's start our class. In today's class, we discuss about the NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam 2022. In this session, we cover in detail about this topic so that we can easily solve the previous year question paper of UGC NET Electronic Science. Each and every topic we can understand in easy and simple manner. So, let's begin our NTA UGC NET exam 2022 class. Okay? Our first topic is band gap. What is band gap? The difference between the valence band and the conduction band is called the band gap or forbidden energy gap where no energy states are available within the band gap or within the forbidden energy gap. Forbidden energy gap and band gap are same thing. Okay, so this is the band gap concept. Insulator which is larger band gap, example is diamond. The band gap of an insulator like diamond is 6 electron volt. Germanium is a semiconductor material and its band gap is 0 0.7 electron volt. And silicon is also a semiconductor material and its band gap is 1.12 electron volt. So here we saw that uh, diamond is an insulator and so its band gap is larger. It's, it is 6 electron volt and germanium and silicon are the semiconductor material and for this reason its band gap is 0 0.7 electron volt and for silicon it is 1.12 electron volt that means it is in moderate condition not larger than insulator not is in overlap condition like conductor or metal. So this is the concept of band gap. And due to this reason, the smaller band gap for semiconductors are thermally excited from the uh, band, valence band to the conduction band. And this is the major reason for which the larger electrical conductivity of a pure semiconductor than an insulator. So, this is the properties of semiconductor. That is the due to the smaller band gap or due to this smaller band gap like 0 0.7 electron volt or 1.12 electron volt electrons are thermally excited from the valence band to the conduction band and due to this reason larger electrical conductivity of a pure semiconductor occur. Okay. So this is the main thing and this is the main concept of band gap. Okay. Next topic is the what is the elements we know that is germanium and silicon are the semiconductor material. Germanium was the key material for the majority of the early solid state devices. But in modern technology due to these three reasons that is one is silicon has better thermal stability it is readily second is it is readily available in nature. And for its advanced technology, silicon is used in modern technology. This is the another important topic of semiconductor devices. That is, silicon is replacing the germanium because its three properties. First is thermal stability. It is second is it is readily available in nature and its advanced technology. Due to these three reasons, silicon is used in modern technology. Okay. So, in this slide, we first saw the band gap and second, we saw the why silicon is used in modern technology compared with germanium. Right. 
Our next topic is covalent bond. What is covalent bond? Covalent bond is a stronger bond between the valency electron and their parent atom. Okay. Every atom is composed of three basic particles, electron, proton and neutron. In the lattice structure, neutron and proton form the nucleus and electron appear in fixed orbit around the nucleus. Right. Our first Bohr model structure for silicon is here. Here we saw. For silicon, we saw 14 orbiting electrons. Silicon has 4 valency electrons that is in outermost cell that is this one, this one, this one and this one. These 4 valency electrons are available in outermost shell and so silicon is called tetravalent. Next Bohr model for germania material is here we saw and it has 32 orbiting electrons. Germanium is also 4 valency electrons in outermost cell that is this one, this one, this one and this one and it is also called tetravalent. So this two basic semiconductor material here we saw that is silicon and germanium structure. Silicon has 14 orbiting electrons, silicon has 4 valence electrons and so it is called tetravalent and germanium is also 32 orbiting electrons and it has 4 valence electrons available in outermost cell and so it is called tetravalent. Next, here we saw the Bohr model structure for gallium which has 31 orbiting electrons. It has three valency electrons in the outermost cell and so it is called trivalent. Next Bohr model structure is for arsenic and it has 33 orbiting electrons. Arsenic has five valency electrons in the outermost cell and so it is called pentavalent. Okay. So first we saw the Bohr model structure of silicon, then germanium, then here we saw gallium and arsenic. What is valence electrons? The term valence is used to indicate that the potential required to remove any one of these electrons from the atomic structure is called valence. Okay. In this slide, we talk about the two dimensional covalent bond of germanium crystal. This is the two dimensional germanium crystal structure. Germanium has four valence electron. The inner ionic core that means this one, this, this, this. The inner ionic core of the atom has a positive charge of plus four unit of electronic charge, right? The four valence electron, these four valence electron are held by the covalent bond with the valency electrons of four nearest neighbor germanium atom and this bond is called covalent bond. Right? That means the valence electrons bind one atom to another and they are not available for electrical conduction in the absence of any thermal excitation, right? That means at 0 Kelvin, the valence band is completely filled and the conduction band is completely empty. What does it mean? It means at 0 Kelvin, a pure semiconductor behaves like an insulator. No electrical conductivity will occur through the germanium material. Okay. When we not applying any thermal excitation externally, 
then no electrical conductivity occur in the germanium that means at 0 kelvin valence band is completely filled and the conduction band is completely empty and so at 0 kelvin a pure semiconductor behaves like an insulator this is the two dimensional covalent bond structure of germanium crystal okay here we saw the two dimensional covalent structure of silicon crystal this is the structure it has also four valence electron and it is also inner ionic core of the atom has positive charge of plus 4 unit of electronic charge right the four valence electrons are held by the covalent bond with the valence electrons of four nearest neighbor silicon atom and this is called covalent bond right since the valence electrons bind one atom to another they are not available for electrical conduction like germanium in the absence of any thermal excitation so it is also at 0 kelvin the valence band is completely filled and the conduction band is completely empty and so at 0 kelvin a pure semiconductor behaves like an insulator and pure silicon at structure is also behaves like an insulator so this is the two dimensional structure of silicon crystal okay in this slide we talk about the or we understand the concept of intrinsic carrier first we talk about what is covalent bond covalent bond is a stronger bond between the valence electrons and their parent atoms right so this is the covalent bond this is one covalent bond this is also covalent bond okay this is valence electron this is valence electron and this valence electron and this valence electron when make a bond is called covalent bond this valence electron absorbs sufficient kinetic energy from external source and break this covalent bond this is the broken covalent bond this one is the broken covalent bond and when the covalent bond is broke a free electron can generate this is the free electron right so when a free electron is generated this covalent bond is broken and here we saw a hole is created in place of valence electron a hole is created and a free electron is generated in the germanium or in the silicon crystal structure so this free electron generation is called the intrinsic carrier in the semiconductor structure okay that means when the covalent bond is broken a free electron generate and this free electron is available in the in this crystal structure and from where this free electron is generated a hole is created now electron hole pair is generated in case in replace of covalent bond okay so this is the intrinsic carrier this free electron is called the intrinsic carrier the term free is applied to any electron that has separated from the fixed lattice structure and is very sensitive to any applied electric field such as established by voltage source or any difference in the potential okay so this is the intrinsic carrier concept i think everyone understand the free electron in a material due to external causes and it is referred to as intrinsic carrier okay 
the term intrinsic is applied to any semiconductor material that has been carefully refined to reduce the number of impurities to a very low level essentially as pure as can be made available through modern technology okay that means what is intrinsic carrier and intrinsic semiconductor the term intrinsic is applied to any semiconductor material that has been carefully refined to reduce the number of impurities to a very low level right and what is intrinsic semiconductor if the electrical conductivity of a semiconductor is entirely determined by the carriers which are generated by thermal excitation from the valence band to the conduction band the semiconductor is called pure semiconductor or intrinsic semiconductor that means when covalent bond is break it generates a free state germanium has the highest number of intrinsic carrier and gallium arsenide has the lowest number of intrinsic carrier at room temperature silicon has intrinsic carrier or free carrier that is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube for germanium the free carrier or the intrinsic carrier is 2.5 into 10 to the power 13 per centimeter cube and for gallium arsenide the free carrier or the intrinsic carrier is 1.7 into 10 to the power 6 per centimeter cube that's all i hope you understand every topic okay so here we end this session thank you i hope you love this informative session of nta ugc net or west bengal set exam if you like my video then please do like share and subscribe my channel फिर मिलते हैं एक नई वीडियो के साथ थैंक यू